As men, we are taught to be a leader in our relationship, but we haven't exactly been taught how. Here are three traits I've learned to help you become a great leader in your relationship. The first trait to being a great leader in your relationship is to have emotional control. I'm not talking about controlling your partner's emotions. I'm talking about controlling your emotions. And it doesn't matter if you're an empath. I'm an empath myself. You need to have your emotions in check. This doesn't mean suppress and bottle up your emotions and never express them. You need to learn how to hold them and control them, get to a good spot, a good time, and express them properly. Don't just break down in a target. Don't just let your anger get the best of you and blow up in, in front of your person or just in general at work or whatever it is. You need to try to have some control over your emotions here, guys. I've struggled with this a lot in my past, especially when I was like young, like 18 and under, 16 and under. I really, really struggled with emotional control and self-control as far as that went. And it is, I get it, it's hard, but you've got to learn how to do it. You got to learn how to properly control them. The, the biggest thing that's going to help you do that is to not suppress them indefinitely, but to get to an appropriate place and handle it in an appropriate way. This could be writing things down in a journal. If you're really bad off, put a, get, a, get a punching bag and take it out on the punching bag. Whatever it is, you need to properly control your emotions. And I'm gonna recommend working out. I know that was recommended to me when I was super young. Working out will help you with any kind of anger. If you got some anger going on, you're blowing up. Working out actually helps. It's advice I should have taken a long time ago. But it's another thing that's actually really good for that. The reason you want to have your emotions under control is so that you can be the rock in the relationship. You're not always going to be the shoulder getting leaned on in the relationship, but there will be times that you need to stand strong, that you need to be that rock. And if you're an emotional roller coaster out of control with your emotions, you're going to lose any kind of stability and you're definitely going to lose some respect in the relationship. You're not going to be looked up to as a leader if you can't handle the hard times and handle your emotions properly. The second trait to being a great leader in your relationship is to be empathetic or sympathetic. There's a big difference. We don't really need to get into it, but empathy and sympathy are not the same. Empathy means I feel what you feel literally. Sympathy means I understand what you're going through. You need to at least understand what they're going through. You need to be at least sympathetic to your partner and their needs in the relationship, how they're feeling in the relationship. This doesn't mean tuning your partner out while you're playing video games or maybe while you're doing important work stuff. You need to be sympathetic in your relationship. You need to be understanding in your relationship. Listen to the stories after work. Listen to the, to the complaints and whatever else it may be. Maybe your partner just wants to let off some steam. There are rabbit holes of too much, but we're not getting too deep into this. We're just talking about, in general, be sympathetic to your partner. Listen to them. There's some people that are really cut off from their emotions in general, really suppressive, or maybe they cut off their partner's emotions and they don't listen to their partner. You need to be sympathetic and understanding. If you can't understand your partner, you can't understand where you need to go next as you're leading in this relationship. The third trait to being a great leader in your relationship is to be assertive. You need to be able to make the first move. If there are chores that need to be done, you need to be able to go and do them, get them done. If there's decisions that need to be made and not ignored, you need to handle them and make those decisions, whether that's a decision you need to make on your own or a decision that you need to handle with your partner. You need to be assertive in handling them. There's an appropriate time to listen to your intuition and go with the flow and be spiritual. And yes, that is needed in your relationship, but you need to remember 
the, the masculine power that you have as a man and you need to be assertive. This is not a negative thing. This is not a bossing your partner around thing. This is the, the drive to, to go forward, to go first. This is that, that assertiveness that leads, guides, protects. You need to be assertive in your relationship. I had a hard time growing up learning how to lead my relationships. And I hope that these traits to becoming a great leader in your relationship were helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.